Hello. To start a React project, you have a few options. Uh, the guide here is recommending to use a toolchain or a framework. So let's see what is this about. First of all, it's good to remember that you need to have Node.js in your machine because both of these options are going to rely on Node.js running in your machine. But don't worry, it's not hard to install Node.js. You can go to Node.js website and you're going to see this LTS version here. That is the long-term supported version. You should install it. If you have any problems, you can also check the downloads page and they have one option for every operational system or at least like the popular ones. So it should be a simple process. Considering that now you have Node.js in your machine, let's see what are the options they are providing here. Like the first option, we are going to check in another video that is to start with HTML file and a script tag. In this video, you are going to check this, that is the minimal toolchain, and also this one that is a framework. So let's start with the toolchain. The first recommendation is to use Create React App. Create React App is a very nice way to start. It's, a, it's very simple, and you are going to create one together right now. If you go to Create React App website, you are going to see a very simple website and also the docs about how to use it. But let's go back here because you need to have Node.js and we already do. And also you can copy this and run in our machine. Let's do it. And now I will run this here. That's going to create a folder with a project that's called my app. And I'm going to use npx that is installed with Node.js and also this dependence create React app. Done, now it's installed and the app is created. So we have a few options here on how to run this app. Let's run with npm start here because we want to have a development server. Okay, so I'm going to go to this folder. Then I'm going to run npm start. Okay, we have it running here and it's recommending that you change this file and see this page reloading. So let's open WebStorm. We are going to talk about ID later, but I'm going to open another tab and I'm going to open WebStorm. It's an ID. We are going to understand in the next videos. So, okay. It was telling us to go to source app and to change this file. Let's put side by side. I'm going to move this to the right and this to the left so you can see the change happening in real time and I'm going to remove this part here where it says edit whatever. So I'm going to save but I didn't save yet. You're going to see this part is going to disappear. Okay, so let's do it. Save. Okay, it's really fast and that's really a very good developer experience because you can see the feedback very fast and along with the other videos you're going to use this a lot. That's called hot refresh or hot reload or react refresh. There are many names, but it means that you can develop really, really fast. So this option is create react app. Now let's see if you have other recommendations here. And we do. This text is explaining that for react app, we don't have like the backend. So we just have the client side and these configurations to run but you don't have like the server or the database. So that's just uh, the way that Create React app works. And you have also alternatives. So I'm going to try with you the Vite alternative. Like Vite is very well known to be very fast. So let's try. So we can go to Vite website and on Vite website, you can scroll down a little bit and you can see the React option here. So let's click here. And Vite is a little bit different because it's already providing a way for us to use in like a sandbox. Do you remain sandbox from the previous video? So it's very similar here. So I'm not going to install locally, but you can. And Vite is already running a lot of things for us here in this sandbox and it's ready. So it's a very nice experience. I can click here in this count button and it's going to increment. I can change this logic if I go to my source folder, app, and I can, okay, I don't want to increment one by one, I want to increment three. I'm going to save, and every time I click here, it's going to add three. 
And you can also remove parts of this code as we did there, and it's going to update really fast as well. So Vite is a very nice way to also use React. But again, it's not providing any backend or database. It's just like the way to run your app with the client side. Now let's go to the part where you can have like more solutions to our development. So this is called framework. So we have the full feature frameworks that are like projects that are prepared to handle other use cases for React applications. The first recommendation here is to go with Next.js. Let's check Next.js website as well. Okay, Next.js is developed by Vercel. It's a very nice company with a deploy solution as well. And you can click here, to start learning. And if you scroll down a little bit, you can see like create Next.js app. So I'm going to click here. They probably have a command for me to copy and paste it. I think it's here on setup. So I'm going to click here and then I can copy this command here. Let's return to our terminal. We can kill this other app. I'm going to return one folder, clear, and I'm going to paste the command to create a Next.js application. As you can see, it's very similar than the previous one. We've created React app and Vitful was different because we did it in a sandbox, but it provides like the commands. So now we are going to run in development mode. Let me copy this here. Go to the folder and run in development. Okay, it's running on localhost 2000. Let's open a new tab here. And then we have the Next.js app running with React. Let's do the same thing. I'm going to go to WebStorm. We are also going to put side by side so we can see the chains. And let's go to pages, index, expand. And then we can also like remove, for example, the welcome. And again, when I save, you're going to see this disappearing like really fast. One, two, three, save. Yeah. It's a very nice experience. If you're like changing CSS and you need to do a lot of like styles and adjustments, you're going to save a lot of time because it's really fast. Okay, save again. And you can do this like as much as you want. You can add elements, you can change styles, you can do whatever you want. It's a very nice developer experience as well. Okay, they also have the other alternatives here. Gatsby, it's very popular for like blogs and website, remix for apps as well. Uh, and I, I want to suggest another alternative that's not here yet. That's called Meteor.js. Let's check their website. So in Meteor website, you can click on get started. Then you can see this tutorial section here. And the first one is React. We can click here. It's a step-by-step -step tutorial and you need to install Meteor in your machine. With npm-g install Meteor. But I already have my machine, so I'm going straight to this create app step and I'm going to copy Meteor Create, and I'm going to do exactly the same. I'm going to kill the previous one. I'm going to return one folder. I'm going to clear, and I'm going to run Meteor Create with my Meteor app. Okay, now my Meteor app is installed, and I just need to go to my folder and run Meteor. Done, now our Meteor app is running. One thing that I that I like about Meteor is that it's also start a MongoDB for us. And then it's really helpful because we already have MongoDB running without installing MongoDB in your machine. And it can be really nice to, to start a new project. So let's open in a new tab. And again, I have a simple app here. Let's put this to the left. Let's open this project in WebStorm one more time. Okay. And then you can go to the UI folder and do a change as well. Just to see like it works as the other tools. It's going to be really fast and a really nice developer experience. So I'm going to hit save and you can see the welcome is gone. And you also have like this click button here. So you can see how many times you can also change this if you want. Like you can go here in the hello, that is the component. And you can say, okay, I want to increment three instead of one. And then when you click here, it increments by three. So like the same experience, different tools, but Meteor, you can also have like MongoDB and other features already included for you. So we should give it a try. Now, if you're not happy, you can also come up with a solution that you can customize. 
Like you can choose a package manager. For example, Meteor behind the scenes was using NPM. Next was using NPM as well. But if you want, you can use Yarn or you can use BNPM. You can choose. You have also a compiler. Like we have a bunch of options for compilers nowadays. It's important because JSX needs to be transformed. We also have bundlers, like Meteor has its own bundler. But for example, Next was using Webpack. I think now they are using SWC. You need also need the minifier because you need to reduce the size of your files when you deliver to production. So all these options are bundled together with like Meteor, with Next. But if you want to create your own setup, I don't recommend this approach, but it's doable as well. And also, in some cases, you need a server. So if you don't have a server in the framework that you choose, you can also run an express server. It's not a problem. You have linters. Linters are very important to keep your code with a good quality and good standards. So you should run any kind of linters. Usually use like ESLint. And also you need a test runner. Jest is very popular. So I would recommend you go with Jest as well. If you're going this route to try to customize your tools to use in a different way, you should check this guide that's explaining like how create React app works behind the scenes. That could help you and give you some ideas on how to create your own stack. And to wrap up this page, they also recommend you a tool. If you have one repository with multiple projects, you could use NX or Turbo Repo. And that's a tool for mono repositories. So when you put a lot of stuff inside the same Git repository. So in this video, we checked like how we can create React apps from scratch with Meteor, with Next.js, with Create React App, and also with Vite. And that was it for this video. And we still have a lot to cover in this series. See you in the next one. Bye.